Hi everyone, it's Mimi. Welcome back to my channel. I am back to do actually a this and that video. And yes, if you are familiar with my friend Anna, who is Serenity Creations, hey girl, she does this and that videos. And yes, I did ask if she wouldn't mind if I used that same title and concept of the videos that she's been doing for a really, really long time on her channel. So if you guys watch her on her channel, you guys know that it's one of her most popular videos that she puts up. Basically, she just shows a bunch of like little projects that she's completed. And that's what I'll be doing here today. First off, I'm so sorry for all the noise. As soon as I started to record, all the noises outside just started going off. So if it gets really bad, I will try to come back and film it in a different time so that all that noise in the background won't be distracting. So let's go ahead and get started and let me share with you guys some of the projects that I've been creating. So first, here is a bead garland that I created and this is inspired by Anna as well. Well, first I saw the video from Nat, who has put some bling on it. And then Anna had created one, and I believe that was in her last this and that video. So I picked up these wood beads at Joanne, and there was a ton of beads. Mostly the smaller ones, but I pulled all the bigger ones out. And I had originally painted them a rose gold color, but I really didn't like the way that they looked. So I painted them again. This is using some chalk paint. It's in the color of patina, which I absolutely love. And then I just went ahead and splattered it to the nines. If you guys can see that, let me bring this up. So I love just the randomness of the splatters. Some of them are a little bit bigger and some smaller. I really like this pack of wood beads because it had these, I don't know, are these hexagons or I, I don't know, but um, it wasn't just the round ones. So I really didn't have enough of the larger beads to kind of make a long strand of them. So I had already painted up these. These are the second to smallest that was in the pack. So I put them in between each and just left them the patina colored so that it wouldn't distract from all the other paint splattered ones. So for the colors of the paint splatter, I just used white, a rose gold metallic paint, and then I mixed together a couple of shades to get like a darker blue. It's kind of almost like in the navy, but it also has a metallic shine to it because I used some white metallic paint mixed in. So then I strung all of those and then here at the end I just used some of my eyelash trim in the white and this really pretty royal blue. It's not an exact match to the blue that's on the paint splatters but it's close enough. I'm not sure if I even did this correctly. Anna was supposed to show me how to kind of add the tassels at the end, but this is the method I came up with. I just used some of my Hobby Lobby braided um, rope and just attached it. This is some rose gold faux leather that I have. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby and created a bow. And then I used one of my bling pieces just to kind of adorn the center of those. And it's just exactly the same on this side. So I can't wait to put this up. Painting all these wood beads was so much work. I did not know that it would take this long to do it, but I love the outcome. So that's the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Next, I wanted to share with you guys this embellishment box that I made such a long time ago. But I used one of my sparkly glittery cases that I got from the 99 cents only store. I actually only had found one of this pink, so I no longer have any of these left, but it's for a special friend. And then I do have like a couple of the white 
with the like silver glitter in it. So I created a belly band. I didn't want to really cover up anything um, just because the case is so pretty. I used some elastic trim from Hobby Lobby and then I created a Vicky flower. And I haven't made these in such a long time, but look how dimensional that is. I added a doily at the bottom and then I created some rosettes with some of my trim. So I have this white one from Hobby Lobby and then this pink one with the polka dots is also um, has another layer of lace underneath it. So it's really dimensional. And then I put one of my bling pieces in the center and it just comes off so she can use this to keep this on here or for something else. So I'm not gonna go into really great detail to what I fit in here, but I just wanted to share with you guys, I have some pre-made double bows that I used my bow maker with. And these are just various really thin ribbons that I used. I have some like hot pink and magenta pom-poms in here. I have these little tiny bottles and I don't remember exactly where I got them from, but they're full of different types of sequins. Here are some of my felt tiny bows that I created, and then I just put some centers on them. They're actually all sprayed with this um, gold spray. It just gives out flecks of gold, and I don't think you can actually see that, but they're all sprayed with that, so it has a little more bling to it. Then I have some longer, these are like bead tubes that are plastic. I have some more sequins in there. I have some ribbon roses and flowers in this one. I have a whole bunch of just like flat backs and some buttons and doodads in this one. More sequins in these. I included some of these iridescent pearl it's clear trim and I just have that tied with some seam binding in here I have a whole bunch of these like I don't even know I mean they're silver but they're like really aged and I got these a while ago I had a whole big bag of them and there's just various different kinds there's Christmas there's celebration there's little flowers and stars a whole bunch of them so hopefully she can use those and then you can see at the bottoms of these I just put some shred so that it makes it a little bit more fun so that is a quick look at the embellishment box that I created next I wanted to share with you guys these bows if you guys had watched Nat's video on how to create these she created them with pattern paper I actually went ahead and created these out of fabric. It's kind of hard to tell on screen, but when Anna saw them, she said you could definitely tell these are fabric. I did change the size of her original measurements, mostly because these were made using scrap fabric, and some of them I just didn't have the full like 12 inch length to create them. So you can see this is one of the bigger ones, and then here is a smaller one. I did use hot glue to adhere them, but when making them, I actually used the exact same method that she did. You can see I just stapled right through it. I did make them all double-sided, so I fused two different patterns together just so that it's pretty on the inside and the outside. So I love how these came out. So here's this one, and then this one has like little bo like gold bows on it. And then I have a whole bunch of the floral ones. And then these two are the smaller ones. So I had fun creating those. I also created some more tassels. These were done probably a few weeks ago. I just haven't had a chance to share them. But I used mostly all my crochet thread. I didn't use any type of yarn. And I'd mentioned before that um, I have a ton of like bead caps and these are specifically made to make tassels 
and I do have a ton of them in different sizes. So I have these longer barrel type ones. All the crochet thread that I used is from Hobby Lobby. Um, this beautiful aqua color. And then I created a couple in this purple. And these here, I've had this thread forever. I don't even know where I got it, but I found a little remnant of it. So I was able to create these. So you can see the bead caps are a little bit more different. They're more like bubbly at the top. But I think they came out so cute and I can just add these to any type of project. really got inspired by watching one of Anna's videos. She had made um, some dangles. I don't know for what, but she was using some um, bead tassels that were already pre-made and I have a ton of seed beads so I was like okay I'm just gonna go ahead and make them well these will be it because really these were not fun if I'm totally honest but I'm glad I did make them I did actually make six total I did gift Anna three of them so that shows you how much I value our friendship because those were a lot of work but I just um, used my beading wire and my bead needle and they're not totally uniform but I just kind of let go of that really early because they're tassels and tassels aren't supposed to be perfect. And then I added a bead cap, a rondelle, and then another bead and then just created a wire loop at the top. So here's another one. This is a baby pink. This one's more like a really, really light opalescent pink. And same thing, I created the strands with the seed beads and then added a bead cap, a rondelle, and a semi-clear pinkish bead at the top. I also made it in silver and I used this really pretty aqua color and used one of my longer silver bead caps, this rondelle that has different colors on it, which I have no idea where that came from. They were just in my stash. A blue pearl bead, and then I just create a simple loop at the top of that one. So these will be saved and used on very special projects. And then I have a couple more things to share with you guys. I also tried my hand at doing some macrame. So this is my first macrame piece that I've ever done. I actually used the macrame cord from Hobby Lobby. I'm not too thrilled with it. Um, it's really stiff and really these ends here, I'm not pleased with it. Um, and it's supposed to be more like how my rainbows turned out, like with a cotton cording, but this wasn't. I did try to dye it with a um, fabric dye. Because it's like nylon and polyester, it just didn't take the color very well, so this is the deepest shade I could get it, which is totally fine. But um, I followed a tutorial from Melanie K. Ham, and I loved the idea of it. I went a little bit smaller because it was my first piece. This does take quite a while. So I wouldn't, um, I always go for like one of the bigger projects when I first start doing anything. I've always done that ever since I was younger. But um, try something a little bit more simple. If I was, um, if I was trying to do macrame, I would try something a little bit more simple. I'm just saying. But I do like the way it came out. It's just for a wall hanging and to kind of close off these ends, I used the beads from BB Craft. These are the acrylic beads. Really in my stash, I don't have many beads that are like with big enough holes for me to get this type of cording through. And even then, I actually had to drill these holes a little bit bigger just to get them in there. So that was a tedious thing to do as well. So. Um, I'm glad I made this. 
Will I do it the same again? Probably not, but um, I think it's really cute. And this ring here I got from Hobby Lobby and it's the six inch. So it doesn't come out that far. It's probably about It's almost 10 inches across, so I'm just going to find a place in my craft room to hang this. And then um, I do want to still try some more macrame, but I think I need to definitely pick up some of the cotton cord. Okay, I also made some braided rainbows. You cannot tell with this yarn, but I still love the way it came out. They're like super fluffy. I also went ahead and backed them with some medium weight chipboard because even though the yarn is like on the thicker fluffier side it's really it's not dense at all so it wasn't holding its shape with me just putting the felt directly on the back so I did this to give it more stability and then I can hang them on the wall and not worry about them kind of losing their shape but I braided each one of these. They're just slightly different. I picked up this yarn from Daiso. I've been kind of hoarding it for a while and now I can't stop using it. And of course, when I go back, they don't have it anymore. So I was able to make these. I did make a larger one. I'll share that with you a little bit later when it's fully finished. But um, I just changed up, you know, which color is at the top. I love all these little specks that it has in the yarn. And then I finished them off at the end. I kept the tassel part pretty short, but um, I added these like glittered, like faux canvas type bows that I created using the Hobby Lobby glitter canvas. And then adhered them on either side and just added some of my little bling jemmies in the center. So I love the way that these came out. They're so super pastel-y and fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little this and that video. I didn't even realize that I had so many things to share with you guys. But before you guys go, I just wanna say a great big thank you to everybody that leaves me such amazing comments. It really motivates and inspires me to create more content for you guys. I love that you love the tutorials that I've been putting out. Sometimes I'm a little wary because I think that I can't explain something well enough, but all your but wonderful feedback has me wanting to create more and more tutorials for you guys. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I've been having people come over from different channels, so Welcome. I hope you love the content that I bring I you guys. I try to bring you guys something new at least once a week, but when I can, I try to um, really do like three videos a week for you guys. So I just wanted to say a great big thank you. Um, stay tuned to my channel. I have a lot more that I have in the works and planning on doing. And um, I just really appreciate your support. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.